trade CS Betty Maina is on Monday expected to meet second-hand clothes traders in the country to seek intervention measures to be instituted to help thousands of them who were rendered jobless by the ban on Mitumba importation two months ago. Our reporter Faisal Ahmed visited some of the popular second-hand clothes markets to assess the impact of the ban on the traders. The bustle of Gikomba market, considered one of the largest open-air markets in the region, popular for second-hand clothes. But the buzz around here may soon come to an end. In early April this year, the Ministry of Trade through the Kenya Bureau of Standards banned the importation of second-hand clothes popularly known as mitumbas. This ostensibly to curb the spread of the coronavirus disease. But traders here read more into it, and two months later, the pinch of the ban has begun to manifest. Arthur Kuria, Antumba trader here, knows it all too well. Vile kulitokea yogoje wa corona, tumeadhirika sana kama wafanyi biyashala. Mana ukiagaria sire sire mutu walikuwa nafanya, saizi mekuwe da chiri kati sana. Yani kama, imekuwa kama 20 parasend, kulikana vitu likuwa tulapata. Kwa hivu hata katika maitaji yetu ya kila siku, tumeadhirika. Kuria has been at Gikomba market for more than 10 years. According to him, he has never witnessed such a scenario. Not even the perennial fires at Gikomba have threatened their livelihoods like this ban. Kumekuwa na shalit. Mana kama saizi wakati mipaka ilikuja ikafugwa, sasa hata kuedelea kwetu kwa biashara. Yani mabo imekuwa chini. Yani ni maisha tu ya kawaida, ya kuhaso tu. Lakini, yani ya meaffect, yani yata kwa, kwa sababu hata maisha kila siku, yani unaona inakuwa gumu hata kukaramia. Kuria says most traders have depleted their stocks. Those who still have them have hiked their prices and it's only a matter of days before they too run out. With the government putting a freeze on importation of mitumbas, a bale of mitumba which used to cost 12,000 shillings now goes for between 22 and 24,000 shillings, with the extra cost being pushed to the consumer. However, the traders here are complaining of a much bigger problem, shortage of their mitumbas altogether. Across town is Toy Market in Nairobi's Kiberia constituency. This too a popular market thanks to Mitumba sales. The high price that traders now charge has seen a number of buyers take off. Times two. To say me fourteen, say me kuwa kama twenty eight. To ama twenty two. Na yeye uautuiki tu yamana. No na. The worrying situation and impact of the ban on thousands of traders has also found its way to Parliament. Kamukunji MP Yusuf Hassan protested the ban, noting that it will have a boomerang effect on thousands of low-income Kenyans who depend on the business for both their livelihoods and clothing. The Cabinet Secretary alleged that the directive would boost the local textile industry, which he claimed was facing competition from cheap second-hand clothes from overseas. This action appears to be in contravention of the assurances given by the cabinet secretary to the committee of appointments during her vetting process in February. According to the Kenya Bureau of Statistics, Kenya imports over 200,000 tons of second-hand clothes every year. This estimated to cost more than 20 billion shillings, with the Kenya Revenue Authority netting an estimated 7.5 billion shillings out of this. The sector, the data shows, also sustains an estimated 10 million Kenyans in the value chain right from the port of entry to the second-hand clothes to the final user who buys the clothes and wears them. A number of county governments have also generated license fees for the traders who are literally scattered in every marketplace in Kenya. While the government has always rooted for the growth of the local textile industry, the Mitumba traders have been seen as its Achilles heel. Kenya now hopes that it will prop up the sector. Questions, however, linger on. Many instances, the locally made apparels are way above the reach of the common man, hence the thrive of the Mitumba business. <laughs> Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.